Ooh. It's on film. Got him. Big bass. Big bass. Hey guys, I haven't had but one hit, one hit on the fluke, and I'm positive that was probably a red breast grabbing the tail. So we're gonna get the F7 Rapala, see if we can catch some grim red breast out here. So let's see what happens. Right there. There we go, finally. Finally. There we go, finally. Oops. Got him. Got a spot right there. Let's get him back. That was an aggressive fish. Mm. Easy. Little red breast, he's aggressive. Good afternoon everyone. Welcome to Max Extremer Fishing Outdoors. Today, you can't tell it, but I'm in front of where everything to deal with me with fishing got started. You can't see it, I'm on the Hall River. It's about 100 yards, 120 yards wide here. Just 20 yards down the bank, the river starts. The house I grew up in is just right across the hill, up the hill. This is the mountains to sea trail now. When I was little, obviously this wasn't here. But when I was six years old, 1969, we moved right here. I used to canoe over to these woods, hunt, trap, fish on this side. Um, brings like a a lot of memories kind of sad seeing it um but good seeing it uh, but anyway we've caught just two fish which kind of concerns me normally if a beetle spin or a little rapala i can catch just i mean seriously 50 red breasts in no time i only caught one had a couple hits caught one little bass it was a big fish kill that i actually me and steve reported on I don't know, it's on my blog maybe 12 years ago or more. I don't know if this section's ever recovered from that. But anyway, we're gonna go hit one more spot up here. Hopefully we can pull some nice bass. If you're seeing this, <laughs> uh, cause I don't have enough for a video right now. If you're seeing this, I probably did pull a couple of nice bass out. So anyway, let's get busy. Let's go hit this other spot. I'll see you in a second.
Oh, I'll run over here if I had to. Got him. Big bass. Big bass. Big bass, guys. Oh, big bass. Don't come off. Big bass. Big bass, guys. Big bass. Come on, I'm gonna beach him. I'm gonna beach him. Big bass, guys. Got him. Woo! Hey, guys. I walked down the river, didn't catch much. Coming to the creek that feeds the river right there. He's skinny, but he's big. Woo! He's skinny, but that's a, it's a five pounder. Hey guys, he's nice, a nice looking fish. That's a five pound bass. That bass probably be six pounds. A little fatter. I think that's an old one. Man, that's nice. Hit the fluke, pearl fluke. Skinny bass. Let's get him back in the water. Woo! Nice bass. All right, guys, that was nice. I caught one bass down there hiking that trail come back in here to this spot i knew the fit the big bass would be under those bushes on the other side i just know it i've fished this place all my life i was lucky to catch that one though but anyway let's see if we can get one more out of here one more decent one Woo! all right guys hope you enjoyed that video got in some hiking got us some exercise caught a few fish not not a lot of fish but I caught a nice one, and that's what matters, is getting out, having fun. This is my old stomping grounds, the river I was on. This creek comes in the river right up above where I grew in. So I used to either walk up here or ride my bike up here to fish this creek um, and fish the river all the time. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.